Now the pitch to Anderson. Fastball driven in the air toward right center field. Chasing back is Finley on the track. Reaches out. Can't get it. Kicks it away. It's rolling toward the corner. Anderson around second on his way to third. Finley tracks it down. Anderson is being waved around. He's coming to the plate. The relay throw. He slides. Safe. It's an inside the park home run. And it ties the game. Marlon Anderson with an inside the park home run. He is shaken up. Jose Molina arguing the call. Mike Sosha out as well. But Marlon Anderson has tied the game at 2-2 two and two with an inside the park home run. Finley tried to field it on the warning track. Kicked it toward the corner. And Anderson came all the way around ahead of the relay throw by Adam Kennedy. Anderson still down on his knees as Mike Herbst and Willie Randolph look after him. But with his first home run as a New York Met, Marlon Anderson has tied the game. And as he gets to his feet, he gets a rousing ovation from the crowd at Shea Stadium. Anderson on a 3-1 fastball drove it to right center. Finley, who was a gold glove outfielder, made a backhand attempt, missed the ball, and then it banked off his foot. And because the right fielder Guerrero would come over to back up, there was nobody to chase it down as it rolled along the warning track toward the corner. By the time Finley picked it up, Anderson was racing for third, and Manny Acta waved him home. The relay throw got there right about the time Anderson did. Molina thought he had the plate blocked, but apparently he did not, and Anderson got his foot in before the tag came down, and despite the protest, Anderson with the inside the park home run ties the game.